when you create a Power BI report, you can use Unicode characters. Um, so what are they and why should you care? So already on my screen here, I have three different examples of types of Unicode character. Each of these visualizations contains one. And we'll get to those very shortly. But first, how do you create a Unicode character? You do that by creating a measure. And once you're creating a new measure, you can do that in two different ways. The first way is um, simply you type in the UN and you'll have this option here for the Unicar. You can just select it or keep typing, of course, and then type in a corresponding number. So we're going to use 128175 and I'll just give that a proper name. In the code that you use, and determines which Unicode character it will show you. So in this example, I quickly put that in the card because it's the easiest way to visualize it. And as you can see here, straight away, we have this. You can of course make that bigger and just change it to the maximum size. And there you have it. So that's the one of the two ways to create a Unicode character. The other option that you have is instead of typing in the Unicar, then the DAX, if you just simply do um, Windows and the full stop button, it brings up a different a list of all the ones you can possibly use. So if you wanna get very childish, which I do, I can use the poo emoji and it will show me that when I hit enter, I will then get the poo emoji. So the question is, are you ever going to use the poo emoji when you're building a report? Probably not. I can't imagine your CFO would ever be happy if you included the poo emoji to indicate that, the, that your sales were down, for example. Probably not the best use. However, there are many options to use many different types of Unicode character. If I can just pull this onto the screen here, you can see that there are a huge number. I mean, this is just what I can show you here is a, a very small example of the of the range you can use. Um, get rid of that. Other options, more standard options, would be here you can see this arrow. And in this case, it's really quite similar to your normal um, conditional formatting. As you know, when you're using Power BI, you can use conditional formatting and you can display an icon. So if I go to my total points and I switch on my icons, it'll have it here come up and you can control that using your advanced control. So what's the benefit of using the uni, um, the Unicode character over this? For me, the main one is that I really don't like using this at all. I don't find a particularly enjoyable interface. Um, I find these quite annoying to maintain. And sometimes you'll hear add your values or change them. And then when you decide you wanna actually use something different, it will then reset those numbers as you just saw there. So I don't particularly enjoy using this. I don't find it particularly user-friendly. So I do use it quite often. Um, but I avoid it when I can. So the Unicode character is a really nice alternative to that. So as you can see here, I have these arrows and what these arrows are showing is that if this number is larger than that number, then give me an up arrow. If this number is smaller or less than this number, give me the down arrow. And if the two values are the same, then simply return this dot. How am I doing that? Nice and straightforward. Um, I will show you the measure. Uh, I will ask you not to judge the measure that I'm using. This is not um, SQL BI, um, but this is me showing you how it works with the Unicode character. So as I mentioned, if it's less than zero, give me this. If it equals zero, give me this. And if it is greater than zero, give me this. And each of these numbers, relates to one of these arrows here. So as you can see, it's a really straightforward thing to do. You don't have to show arrows, of course. There Again, there are lots of different options. Another option would be, as I have here, um, you can show it in a much more visual way. So if it's less than zero, 
sad face, smiley face, or very happy face. And that comes down to appropriate use. Um, if you have a financial, a very financial report, really deep dive into the figures, you're probably not going to want to use a big smiley face. You could if you want, but it really depends on who's going to use the report and what they appreciate. I would suggest this is probably a bit more useful if you're doing more to get like a customer service report, as in, are our customers happy with our performance this week versus last week? That could be a good use. Um, this arrow, I find a good use in this situation because you can really keep track of ups and downs. And, you know, you can see here, okay, you've got four downs in a row. So his, this person's perform actually five. So this person's performance is getting progressively worse. So that's something to really indicate that quite clearly. Also, if you wanted to, you can also add color to these arrows. So if you say, okay, I have the ups and downs of the arrows, but I also want to make this not just black, you could simply say, okay, my total points indicator, and I'm going to add some color to that. And I go in my advanced controls and I choose my measure. And then depending on the, um, the value, change the color. So this is very standard. And when I click on it, as you can see here, then that color has changed. Yeah, that's not something that personally I would do, but you can do it. And depending on your data, depending on what you're building, you might choose to do that. Nothing wrong with doing so. Um, yes, there are arrows that you can use in your standard conditional formatting. But again, you have many, many options. Um, what else? Yes. So this one doesn't look like it contains any um, Unicode character at all. However, it does, and we can have a look at that now. So, as you can see, it says example of and Unicar 10. What does that mean? This is very, very helpful. This simply helps you format your text, and you can see what that does. If I remove this part here, hit enter, Now it says in one line example of some text. I go back into it. I add what I just removed before. And we see again, the line break comes on. This is really, really helpful if you're using cards to um, yeah display titles or, or whatever where you're displaying groups of text and you want to align that properly. This comes in very, very helpful. Another use of that, um, which I can display here, is here again, going back to this indicator, you can see that I have my total points and my total points indicator. If I quickly remove these two things and I add this measure, what you can see is if I just properly align them because the alignment is horrible at the moment, that's better. So in this measure, I have both the arrow and the value. So how have I done that? Very straightforward. It's very similar to the measure that I showed you previously. It's here. So if it is less than zero, if it is equal to zero and greater than zero, give me the same Unicode character I said before, but this time I've included the Unicode character 10, which is that line break. And I've actually included it twice. So I don't have to just have a line break. I have, as you can see here, a line break and a whole new, um, a gap essentially. And then those numbers displayed below. The benefit of that is, well, it just gives you another option to display the data in a, in a different way. Um, so you can have the one measure which displays the two different values. I mean, you could have, you know, all three together. This is just an example. Um, but this is just showing the functionality of that line break. It's pretty cool. I find that very helpful. And I use that one actually probably more than any other Unicode character. Um, yeah. So again, it's about appropriate use and they have a really broad range of uses. Um, I'll show you one thing before I go on to the next bit is this report I built um, very quickly. 
it's not really a standard report, but um, there was an interesting data set, so I thought I, I want to do something quite fun with it. And in this case, because it was meant, it was designed to be like a fun report. As you can see, I've used Unicode characters like everywhere on my axes. So to represent a rat, I have, of course, a picture of a rat. And on here in the slices, I have the word plus the um, the picture of the animal. And if you click on these things, so here, this to represent the woman, this to represent um, the man. And as you click through the different animals, the Unicode character will change. So it's very silly, but in this case, it was an appropriate use. So an example of how to use a different version of these um, in an appropriate setting. But much more standard, I would say, is this sort of thing where we're using them to indicate a positive or a negative versus, versus last week it was good, so a smiley face, it was bad, sad face, or these arrows. Um, one final use, which is um, really not in the, the, um, the Power BI part, but rather the Power Query part, um, is if we look at our applied steps. Now, luckily, this report is very, very messy because I've been developing it for a couple of years as a hobby and I never clean it, which I should. Um, but in this case, that comes in to our benefit because I have some very um, messy applied steps. So if we go here, for example, this merge queries, when you have steps in um, your applied steps, and you have really important ones where it maybe substantially changes the data or there's a key um, custom column that you add. What you can do is you can use Unicode characters to kind of draw attention to that. How do you do it? Well, I go here and I go rename. And at the start, again, if I just press my um, windows and my full stop, I can then choose to add something like this big cross. And when I do so, as you can see, that appears here. And it just kind of helps to draw attention maybe to that applied step so you can see that it is an important step. So, you know, if you know, if you have some documentation that says, if you see this mark within the applied steps, it means it's a key step. It just kind of helps to draw attention to that particular step. I know there's other ways of doing that. I um, mean, you should always, you know, change the names of your applied steps, should. Um, but this is just one further example or one final example of how you can use the Unicode characters in a certain way. Not huge, but it's helpful, I think. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, you can use them for a huge number of things, anything from just a, a silly little, little indicator to something that is genuinely helpful within your reports. Um, yeah, I hope that helped. Um, I hope maybe it gives you an, an idea of how you can display something visually a bit more interesting. Um, certainly for your, um, your KPIs on like a dashboard type view page. Um, as ever, if you enjoyed this, please, um, subscribe. That's always much appreciated. Uh, thank you very much and, uh, goodbye.